If we do not serve others, life becomes meaningless to us. And this is behind much of the unrest we find in today's youth, I believe. There's something in each of us that tells us, once we've put away the things of childhood, that we're here to serve others. And if we remain in positions in which we are not assuming the service that normally should go with adulthood, we become restive, anxious, and depressed. It's behind much of the unease common to men on a Sunday afternoon or evening. It's why we get tired after a while of playing golf every day or fishing or sailing or whatever leisure activity we engage in. We might say that our leisure has meaning and renewal to the extent that we know we've earned it. And we earn it by serving others, especially in our culture. We have only to look at those who do not serve to see the truth of our postulate. There's the dissatisfaction of our older student population. The people on skid row seeking escape in alcohol, in prison seeking escape in any way they can find it, in the unemployed, and even in the tragic idle rich and members of the jet set whose lives, if they have not found some meaningful form of expression or a cause or role in which they can lose themselves, are pitiful caricatures of real existence. Those who have not found themselves quite often try to lose themselves. In an earlier direct line, we mentioned Dr. Maslow's comment that people are judged in our society in the same way fruit trees are judged, by their fruit, by their production, its quality and quantity, which is another way of saying by how well they serve. A young person often asks, why am I here? The answer is, you are here to serve. Your part of the bargain is to so marshal your unique resources as to do the best possible job of serving others, and you will always serve best doing that which you most enjoy.